What's up dreamers? The last sort of 48 hours for me have been a bit wild. I recently dropped a TikTok video and across all platforms it's got like 5 million views now or something and it's just kind of going up and up. And so I just want to take this video to break it down a little bit, do a little director's commentary, reveal some behind the scenes facts and read some comments and just sort of be like, yeah, I'm really sorry. That was me. Before I go any further, massive, massive props and shout out to my boy Casey Frey and Dubs who made the music that I used. I don't own that music and I don't own the original screenplay, if you want to call it that. It was those guys that really inspired me and I just wanted to take what they had and give it its Jesus twist, which I believe I did because I love Jesus. Let's get going. So here's the video right here. It's me doing a Bible study, flicking through the pages, and I'm starting to feel the music and just feel the Bible study. You know, Holy Spirit's there. But who's this guy who's watching me? It is the devil, and he's just saying his lies and telling me I'm dumb. And Jesus is watching this whole thing. There he is at the window. And I look up, and boom, here he comes. And there is a questionable dance move happening. But obviously, my character is inspired by the dance, praise, worship, heart pumping Jesus. And as I begin to feel the Holy Spirit in me, I also start dancing, devil's not liking that. But boom, there he goes. Again, more questionable dance moves, more overly camp, interesting moments there, which I'm not really sure about. But oh, but there's the, there's the handstand and that sort of makes up for some of them. And then me and Jesus are dancing, we're vibing. Everyone's been telling me about the tongue bit sticking out, that they love it, and there we are. And that's sort of the end of that. So, yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe only my family would ever watch this video and that they would love it. I didn't expect it to sort of have this sort of impact. Or did I? More on that story later. <laughs> A few fun and funny facts about what happened while we were filming is that firstly, yes, I did rip those jeans, those very tight jeans that everyone's been commenting on. They were ripped in the sort of drop it down low dance move. Here is proof my nice nudie jeans, although they do offer free repairs, so I can just send them back and then they'll send them back to me repaired, so that is good. Second fact about when we were filming, this isn't so fun, is that my wife, who was amazing and let me boss her around to get the exact shots that I wanted, bless her, she was probably a bit overwhelmed and at the end of filming, the last shot we were doing, um, she almost passed out in the garden because the filming process was so intense and I knew it had to be perfect. For those of you who are very spiritual, you'll find it interesting that it was when we were filming the shot of the devil walking away, defeated. That is when something just sort of hit her and she had to literally lie down in the garden before we could get the last shot and then get it into the edit. Massive shout out to my beautiful, gorgeous wife for being my camera operator on that. The hairdryer thing has been a very popular moment and that was a spare of the moment decision. I wasn't happy with the shot. It needed something a little bit extra and so I brought the hairdryer down and that is just the movie magic. Um, it was very obvious that you could see the hairdryer, but I think that's fine, it's kind of funny. This is my second or third TikTok video I ever made and I had no idea how to use the platform. I just had loads of time on my hands because I've lost a lot of work in filmmaking. That's what I do, I make video. And so I had the time and I had the skill and so I kind of made it for fun and put it on TikTok. And it's got like 250,000 views or something like that. And then someone posted it on Twitter um, and they have loads of followers. They had like 60,000 followers or something. And with their 60,000 Twitter followers and my 200 Twitter followers together, just making that sweet Twitter magic. And that is where it's got almost like, I don't know, four and a half, five million views or something on it. Throughout this time, I had loads of messages like, oh man, it's blowing up, it's blowing up. But to be honest, I couldn't get excited in my heart until I had connected with Dubs, the artist, and Casey Frey, who made the original video that I was kind of parodying. And when I woke up this morning and they had messaged me, I was like, oh, I feel so relieved. I can finally make this video and I can finally drop it on YouTube um, because they loved it and they gave me respect. So, whew. Couple of my favorite Twitter comments, here we go. Glad to see Hosier is enjoying his quarantine. He got to church in the end. This Passion of the Christ remake slaps so much better than the original. Christ got his passion back. 
I feel like I'm sitting in a church gymnasium while my youth pastor puts this on the projector. To all the youth groups out there who are now probably playing this video and absolutely loving it, like and subscribe. Finally, I just wanted to say again on the topic of did I know this was gonna blow up or not? Why don't you check out this video I made in sort of November, December time called a 2020 prophecy. This is after spending some time with God and praying and reading my Bible. I felt God say these things to me about 2020 and there's some really interesting stuff in there that I felt God say to me. I have a personal relationship with him and some of those things included God breaking into the arts and creativity and filmmaking and that we're going to see some stuff in 2020 and also God using me in 2020 for some bigger, newer things as well. It's kind of interesting and I think it ties in really well. And so without sort of sounding like I knew it, I'm so big headed, actually I had a sort of feeling that this is what I was supposed to be doing. I was supposed to be dancing and being on camera and being behind the camera and making films for the glory of God and to point people to Jesus, even if it is really fun and really silly. That is what I want to do with my whole life. Thanks for coming all the way over to my YouTube channel. You already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Peace, love. You are wonderful. You are loved. Jesus loves you.